everybody to a new Starfield video. Today, I have one on some news that came out a few days ago. And sadly, I was a bit occupied with a Christmas series for Christmas of turning all of Fallout 4's Nuka World into a Christmas Wonderland. But now that we're done with that, we can get back with Starfield. And let's just get right into the covering this one. This one's insane, guys, and you have to take a listen. If you've already heard of this, stick around still, and we're going to talk about it afterwards. So... Let's begin. Alrighty, so I'm going to put it here on the screen so all of you can follow along, or if you want to read it for yourself, go ahead. And I'm also just going to say it word for word so that everybody can listen, even if they're not really paying attention, and just kind of listen it for background noise. Alright, so let's start. So Bethesda says... It's coming up on the end of the year, and we want to thank all our players for joining us for the incredible launch of Starfield. With 13 million players since September, this has been the biggest launch in our history. Your support of this new adventure has meant everything to us. You've been very busy out there in space for the past few months, and we want to share some fascinating stats about what you've been up to, Altogether, you've visited nearly 2 billion planets, which is an astronomical number. Check out the full infograph below for even more info on everything from your favorite powers to the most lethal enemies and more. Now, I'm just going to cut in here myself. I'm going to put that at the end of the video, and we'll talk about that a bit. But for now, let's just continue with what's to come in 2024 for Starfield. So, Bethesda continues... But we're not just here to say goodbye to 2023. We've been hard at work on everything coming to Starfield in 2024. While we're not ready to go into all the details just yet, here's a glimpse at some of the things we're cooking up. First, we're targeting updates roughly every six weeks starting in February. These updates will include everything from quality of life improvements to content and feature updates. Join our Steam Beta branch to be the first to try these updates as they begin rolling out. We've been reading all your feedback and are excited to start launching these new features. We'll be adding new ways to travel and you'll now be able to access city maps while exploring the major cities. For those of you who love shipbuilding, we'll also be expanding on ship customizations with ship decorations, new shipbuilding options, and more. We're also excited to be adding all new gameplay options. With these new settings, you'll be able to alter your gameplay to allow for an easier or more challenging experience that will expand beyond our normal difficulty settings. These will allow you to easily customize carry capacity, cargo access distance, ship damage, vendor credits, how you suffer afflictions, new survival mechanics, and more. Next, official mod support will be coming to Starfield with the launch of Creations. Beginning early next year, Starfield will be getting its own exporter and you'll have access to a new creation kit. Modding has always been an enormous part of our games, with incredible community-made content constantly bringing fresh new experiences. With the scale and systems in Starfield, we cannot wait to see what you come up with. And lastly, the team is hard at work on the development of Shattered Space, our first major expansion coming next year. You'll have new story content, new locations, new gear, and much more. We can't wait to share more with you next year. Thank you so much for all the amazing feedback, and please keep it coming. We do read it all, and it guides us in what you really want to see in the game going forward. Thanks again for making 2023 an unbelievable year for all of us. May you have a great rest of the year, and we'll see you in 2024 for all Into the Starfield. So with Starfield receiving creations, I think we should talk about it a bit. So creations is the new all-in-one shop for creation club, mods, and now paid mods. And I can't lie, I don't think many of you are going to be excited for this. So with Creations, you will find Creation Club in here, which I mean is alright. Listen, that's just a microtransaction. Every game has a microtransaction store. So as much as we don't like it, it's kind of the normal. 
And at least it's made by Bethesda, or at least commissioned and approved by Bethesda for it. So you know everything kind of just works, you know? You can find mods in this section as well. So they're not separate anymore, which is kind of annoying. But you will find mods in here, and you'll also find the new paid mods. Now let me just elaborate on that a bit. So the top of the top creators, the ones that make the coolest mods, can enter a new verified creator program that allows them to put price tags on their mods. So these mods, and even these older ones that you absolutely love, like for example, we'll just use this East Empire expansion one just as a reference. Say this was a completely free mod and would have been one of the most elite free mods ever. Well, now there's a price tag on it. This once could have been amazing free mod. The creator put a price tag on it. Now that's just for reference, but it's just kind of odd. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's just kind of odd. Because now you just don't know what you're getting. Like you go and if you buy one of these mods, let's just say it's a simple house mod for $9. You buy it, you go in, and let's say you don't even like it. Well, you can't just deactivate. I mean, you probably can, but you just spent $9 on it. And of course, with mods, it takes up space in your mods, like how much you can have total. I don't like it. it I, I, this is just my opinion. I don't like it. I think it's, it, you just don't know what you're getting 100% specifically with mods. I, I don't think it should continue, but sadly, it is coming to Starfield. But... With this, I, I just want to kind of showcase, because if you don't play a lot of Fallout or Skyrim, you're not going to know. So let's switch over to Fallout 4, which is this, I call this the Fallout method of mods, because it's the only one left now. And when you go, there is, it's just separated. It's just better. Creation Club and mods are separate. Like I can go to Creation Clubs and go over to World, and I have all this stuff here. Beautiful packs, and known and commissioned by, or made by Bethesda themselves. So it's very trustworthy, very safe. And then you can just go over to the mod section and it's completely separate, like completely separate and no paid mods. So at least you're not in there and you accidentally hit like a purchase button or you, you know, something just like that. Or at least, you know, you can download a mod. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, you can just go ahead and delete it off your load order. Not anymore. If you paid for it, I highly doubt if you don't like it, you're going to remove your $10 mod. I, I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not saying the developers don't deserve it. I'm not saying they don't create content that is amazing and, and maybe even absolutely deserves it. But as a consumer, it's questionable, especially because we already have to pay for the base game, upgrades if they add an upgrade to the version, DLC and or expansions, Creation Club if we want some of the cool microtransactions, and now paid mods. It's a lot. I don't, I don't personally agree with it, but I want you to comment your thoughts. Comment your opinions, your thoughts, everything. Just, I want to see what you guys have to say about this, because this is odd. <laughs> I mean, everything else sounds great. Everything else coming to Starfield, amazing. And even mods and creation club sounds amazing, but paid mods is where I'm kind of questioning it. So please, please, please sound off in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say, like opinions, uh, it, whether it's with or against mine. Like, I really want to see your opinions. All opinions are valid. So I, I just want to see, you know, what you guys are thinking. And I don't know. I, I just, I can't get behind it. Specifically because at least Creation Club, yet again, is Bethesda. So if you, like, buy a Creation Club piece that maybe even breaks a mission or it messes something up with the base game and or DLC, it's Bethesda. They will fix it. And not only that, but at least usually, like, 99%, they already fully tested it. It will be compatible and safe with your game, with Creation Club. Mods, at least you know you're taking the risk. The risk that it could break or corrupt your save. Specifically, obviously, more unprofessional mods, but still. But 
what if you buy one of these mods? Say it's a, a, a $10 mod, you know? You spend $10 on this mod, you think you're really gonna like it, and then you learn that it's really just not compatible with the game. Like, it breaks certain quests. It messes up certain features. Well, you just basically spent $10 to break your own game. Now, I'm not saying they won't fix it. I'm not saying they won't do this and that. But it, it, it just doesn't seem right. Like, I don't know. I could go on a rant about this all day, but I won't. So, of course, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment, all that good jazz. And, uh, yeah. So, as always, of course, I will see you in the Starfield.